Hello everyone and welcome to another Google Analytics 4 tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to apply filters. How can we apply a filter on Google Analytics 4? First of all, why we need filters? We need filters to narrow down to a specific dimension. So what does it mean? Let's say here that we are in the traffic acquisition reports and we are looking at where all the traffic is coming from. For example, the traffic is coming from organic search, direct, paid search, and so forth. Let's say now that I want to narrow down to traffic that is coming only from India. I want to see the same table, but only relevant to traffic that is coming from India. And let's be a little bit more specific. Let's say traffic that is coming only from Mumbai. So how can I do that? I'm going to scroll a little bit further up. And here you're going to see a button that says add filter. It is super simple. So we're going to click on the add filter. Then we are going to go on the right hand side. And here, what we are going to do is we're going to click select dimension. We're going to type in city, select town and city. And here we're going to start typing Mumbai. We're going to select the value that we are interested in and we're going to apply. So now I have the same table, the same report, but all the results are relevant to traffic that is coming only from the city of Mumbai. That's how easy it is to apply a filter. Now let's give a couple of more examples. So let's say that I want to see this table here with my default channel group, and I want to narrow down only to mobile traffic. So how can I do that? I need to click here on add filter and I'm going to use a dimension that is called device category. And I'm going to select mobile and I'm going to click OK. And that's it. So now here we, we see the same table with the performance of the session default channel group, but only relevant to traffic that is coming from mobile because we applied this filter. We can use filtering in any report. So let's try to do the same with a different starting point. So let's say I'm here in demographic details and we are looking now at country performance. Let's actually look at city performance just to make it a little bit more exciting. Let's say now that I want to understand how much traffic I got in Jakarta coming from organic search. How can we do that? So what we can do is we can come here, we can click add the filter. And what we're going to do is we're going to select the session default channel group. And we are going to select here organic sets. So I'm going to click on apply. And now I have a list of all the cities, but only results relevant to organic sets. So the number of users, new users, engaged sessions you see here are only relevant to organic sets. So how can I find Jakarta now? I'm going to use the quick filter. I'm going to click here on the search bar. I'm going to type Jakarta, hit enter, and here we go. So these are the number of users, new users, engaged sessions that are coming from the city of Jakarta only through organic sets. So you can use filtering for all the different reports that you have in Google Analytics 4. Now, one more thing that a lot of you may ask, how can I use a filter to filter down to a specific metric? So let's say I want to see country traffic or city traffic or channel traffic, but I only want to see let's say cities that have more than 2000 users, or I want to see only channels that have over, let's say 5,000 sessions over a specific time period. How can we do that? Unfortunately, we cannot do that by clicking on add filter here. Here we can only play with dimensions, but we can do that when we build a free form report. So if you go to explore from the right hand side, and then you go under free form, this is the equivalent of custom reporting 
in Google Analytics 4. So here we can create a custom report. How can we create a custom report? Let's actually take things from scratch. So how it works is first we need to bring in the variables, the dimensions, and the metrics that we want to include. And then we need to customize our report, our tag settings. So let's say I want to create a report that shows the channels and also shows metrics like sessions, users, new users, and engage sessions, something simple. So we're going to click here on plus symbol next to dimensions. And we are going to find the dimension that we need to include. And the dimension we need to include is under traffic source, session default channel group. So we're going to import this dimension. We can see now that this dimension can be found here under the list of the existing dimensions. The second thing that I need to do is I need to insert the metrics that I want to use in these reports. So I need to click here the plus symbol and let's find all the metrics we want to include. So we want sessions, we want engaged sessions, we want users, let's say total users, new users, and let's include also, let's say the number of purchases to make it a little bit more interesting. So I'm going to import these metrics and now you can see that all the metrics that I selected can be found under the column here that says metrics. So now I'm going to build my report. I'm going to take the session default channel group and I'm going to say that this is going to be the ROS of my report. And then I'm going to take the metrics and I'm going to drag and drop them under the column that is called values. So I'm going to have the sessions, users, new users, and engage sessions. Let's actually do that. Drag and drop it properly. And now here we can see that we have a table that has the session default channel group, number of sessions, total users, and new users. How can we apply a filter now? This is what we started exploring, right? So if I want to apply a filter, I'm going to scroll all the way down under the tab settings. And here you can see the option that is called filters. And here I'm able to apply a filter on certain metrics, not only on dimensions. So I can click here on filters and I can say I want to filter only, let's say, results that are above, let's say, 5,000 sessions. And I'm going to apply. And now you can see here that in my free form report, I only see results that are relevant to 5,000 sessions or more. So this is where you can apply filters on the metrics. On the main interface, you can apply filters only based on dimensions. That's it. That's how you can apply filters on the main interface. If you like this tutorial, make sure you follow the channel. You give us a thumbs up. This will really help us to create more tutorials. Have a great day and see you in the next video.